Now, as the dust starts to settle after the European elections, the outgoing MEPs will be starting to think about their futures. One of them is Nikki Sinclair, formerly of UKIP, who stood this time for the We Demand a Referendum Now party. She joins me now. Good evening, Nikki. Good evening. So you've got five weeks left in post. Yes. What are you going to do after that? I think it's too early to say yet. Uh, I've been working 20 years uh, trying to force the issue on the European Union in a referendum. So I um, want to probably keep the pressure on that in whatever I do. I think it's important for this country to have that debate sooner rather than later. So staying in politics, you think, because the amount of energy that's required for, for this kind of job is immense, isn't it? But then on the other hand, when you stop, what do you fill it with? Well, that's going to be a difficulty because yeah, it's been 80-hour 80, 80 weeks for um, five years and probably prior to that as well. So it's what am I going to do now? That, that's a good question. I'm probably It's too early to say. Um, but, you know, I will always be working towards that referendum that I think this country mm. needs. Do you think we'll see you standing at the general election? I think it's incredibly unlikely that I'll be standing at the general election next year. I think probably going to take a, a break from um, elected politics, but um, I think it was Tony Benn that said he was going to retire from Parliament to actively engage in politics. <laughs> exactly. He did indeed, yeah. Now, everyone was predicting UKIP would do well. Yeah. But did you think that they would do quite so well, over 27% of the vote with 24 MEPs? I think they did exceptionally well, and I do congratulate them. Uh, I did think it became you know, Nigel Farage v politics, and I think that the public, I think the, the machine kind of came in and people wanted to protest, and that's what it did. And he calls himself, you know, he's the fox in the Westminster hen house. Mm. Well, I call upon the main parties to be the farmer with the shotgun and to shoot the fox. And by doing that, they that need... sounds pretty drastic. Well, they need, what I mean by that is actually not shoot Nigel Farage, <laughs> what I mean is to shoot the issue. They need to call this in and out referendum. And I think, you know, if, if they moan about Farage, Farage is only representing what the frustration mm -hmm. of the British people. And I think that's what the vote for UKIP was. And, uh, and the main parties have been ignoring that for far too long. And it's about time they actually listened to the British people and gave us that referendum sooner rather than later. Just returning to you, Nikki, a couple of years ago you were arrested um, on suspicion uh, yeah. to defraud the European Parliament. You're still on bail. This has been going on for an awfully long time. How has this affected you personally, particularly during your election campaign? Well, it hasn't been helpful and it's not obviously a very nice thing to have. You know, let's make clear that absolutely I refute any allegations. You know, it, in, my, in my time as an MEP, it audited, I put more than £120,000 of my post tax salary back into my work. Mm, indeed, and, and I think that's been made clear. I'm just interested to know yeah. how you feel that's impacted on you. Well, it's been your absolutely, campaign. it's been absolutely awful. You know, I haven't even answered questions about this for 18 months to the yeah. police, and it's just been there hanging over the head. And it's just, it's been, it's been really difficult, especially you know when you feel, you know, well, I'm innocent of this. So you, it's been, it's just been absolutely frustrating. There's nothing you can do about it, and I do think it's an anomaly in our legal system that I don't think should be allowed to. To, to carry on. And just finally, Nikki, uh, getting a severance pay isn't unusual, but you, you'll no. pick up £32,000 in severance pay yeah. or a transitional allowance from the yeah. European Parliament. Will you take it? Well, you know, it was actually me that made it. It was me that leaked this document. Um, but will you un take un it? Unlike, unlike the BBC, who refuses... Will and you take and the payment? Police, well, I can't get a job in another parliament. It's a redundancy. I've been working for 20 years, and most people get a redundancy payment. Yeah. So it's a redundancy payment. And unlike the BBC, I'm quite transparent about the payoffs. Nikki Sinclair, thank you. Thank you. Now, for 20